Well, hello everybody. We're gonna do a little bit. Uh, we're gonna try to catch up. I went about four days we're not posting nothing, so I'm gonna do this one. That's to ask. This is just a six basic. There's so many more after this. And uh, earlier we did one on the wall prefix with my little sister who did it. And uh, later on tonight, my nephew uh, Britton, he's gonna go ahead and do one on uh, on these uh, to take or to get. So right here. What you doing, brother? So right here, hey, brother, I start working uh, th at our native uh, hospital on our, in White Eagle on next week, on Monday, well, tomorrow. Anyway, uh, how you doing, sister? So anyway, this one right here, like I said, we're trying to catch up. I went three days with that. I'm going to make this short so we can keep your attention. It's to ask. These are the six basic ones to say, I asked her. You say, Idam monje. You asked him. You say, Idam monje. She asked him, Iman Chai. We asked her or him or it as Aunt the Monk Now this is you all plural. You all asked him. So it's Idan Monk They asked her or him or it is Iman Chai. How you doing, Jesse? And so right here, now we're on. They asked her, it's Iman Chai. And then I made two questions. I wanted to show you guys two different tenses in the. Ponka Omaha language, and I also showed a different uh, way. It says, Sida de Iwi Monche Mike. Sida de means yesterday. Iwi Monche means I ask you or I asked you. Mike means I pass. So when you say Sida de Iwi Monche Mike, it means I had asked you yesterday. I had asked you yesterday. How you doing, sister? Did you see that one I did on? I, had my, I didn't do it, I had my sister do it, but. I hope I did it good explaining that because uh, when you use that wall prefix, it's it's complicated because it's for something or to describe something that's uh how you doing, Auntie? It's to describe something that's uh, uh like that could be turned a verb that could be turned into a noun, describing the action of a verb. Wait, wait, let me get back on track. So let me redo this again on this bottom. It says, iwi ma, okay, me, okay. I had asked you yesterday. Now the flip side of that says, Gasson de iwi ma, okay, tami, okay. It says, I'll ask you tomorrow. I will ask you tomorrow. And so back to what I was saying, relatives. We have to try hard on this language deal. It's me and my little nephew. We're out here doing this. And so anyway, he's, he's my little apprentice right now. And so what we're trying to do is just try to show and get people interested by not. I got to cut my talks now shorter so that we can keep the attention of the people but at the same time I think I need to start writing out what they mean because usually I just write the Ponca way or Omaha way and so anyway but everything I just showed you on this is in Ponca and Omaha so I say identical so anyway loved ones remember try hard don't be ashamed of nothing okay uh, sister make sure you look at it you're welcome and then my uncle said, my uncle, uh, he's Omaha, he's passed away now, but he said uh, he, they could use to say you're welcome was uh, And that's also saying it's good that you come. Or it's also saying that you're welcome. You can translate it, you're welcome. So like I said, I got to talk to my elders about using that word for welcome. Some Omaha relatives use it. And like I said, our language is the same except for a few variations. But I want to say, have a blessed Sunday. God bless each and every one of y'all. Love yourself. Love somebody. And if nobody told you today that they love you. Let me be the first. I love you guys. Shanna. Gutega, Shanna.